Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 216. And today is our lesson number 171. Problem number 9 is what we're going to do. If you have not watched, if you have not watched yesterday's video and day before yesterday's video, particularly day before yesterday, day 169, that is when we went through the notion of similar triangle. I'm not going to go over the entire details as to what it means for the two triangles to be similar. I'm going to leave it up to you to watch those two videos and understand the concept. That's what we're dealing with in this problem. There are three problems that they give you here dealing with the concept of similar triangle. Problem number seven, eight, and nine. We did the problem number seven on day 169. We did problem number eight yesterday, day 170. And today we're doing problem number nine. Here's the picture that's given to us. A, B, C, and D. B, F, and G. We are told that this is 90 degrees, this is 90 degrees, this is 90 degrees, which is a very important bit of information. Without, without that knowledge, without knowing that these angles are 90 degrees, this problem cannot be solved. It is, it is, it is a crucial information. What else do we know? Do, do they tell you anything else? If the, if the picture, in the picture below, AB equals to BC equals to CD. Oh, there you go. A to B is equal to B to C, which is equal to C to D. Okay, let's make a note. A to B is equal to B to C, which is equal to C to D. We are told that the area of triangle CDE, the top triangle CDE, is 42. And the question simply is, what is the area of the triangle ADG? The big triangle, the biggest triangle that is there. So here's the solution. Because line AG is parallel to BG, which is parallel to CE. Let's make sure first of all we agree there. You see this line AG is parallel to BG and that's parallel to CE. They are all parallel. This line and this line and this line. These are three parallel lines. Therefore, therefore, angle A, this angle right here, I'm calling it angle A, equals angle B, which equals angle C. Now, if I lost you already as to why these three angles, why in the world these three angles would have to be equal just because the three lines are parallel, well, that means that you have not been watching the videos in the proper sequence. This is something that we learned on day number 162. Go to day 162 where we, where we went over the notion of what it means, what implication does it have in terms of angles when we have two parallel lines being intersected by a third line. Something that we covered in day 162. We also know that triangle G equals triangle F, which equals triangle E. Triangle G equals triangle F, and F equals triangle E. Why? Because we are told they are, they are all 90 degrees. We are told that. And finally, and angle A is shared. Angle A is shared. Voila. What we just established 
we, what we just established is that, one more time, I'm going to go it. These three angles are equal because they are all 90 degrees. These three angles, angle A, angle B, and angle C, they are all equal because they are sitting on a parallel line. This, these three parallel line is being intersected by this line A to D. The line AD, we have three parallel lines, and line AD intersects it, which means this angle has to equal that angle, which has to equal this angle, which are angle A, B, and C. Angle A, B, and C. Angle A, B, and C. They have to equal. They have to equal to each other. So these three angles are equal, these three angles are equal, and that angle is shared. Angle D is shared by all three triangles. Triangle C, D, E, triangle B, D, E, F, triangle A, D, G. All three triangles share that angle, which means the three angles of, of these three triangles are equal to each other. The corresponding angles are equal. Therefore, these three, three triangles are proposed are similar. Therefore, therefore, the three triangles, three triangles, triangle CDE, triangle BDF, BDF, CDE, BDF, and triangle ADG are similar. Now, if you were able to see that right away, and if you were able to understand that right away, then we could have started the story a long time ago, because the story is going to start now. We had to first establish, I had to first convince you that these three triangles are in fact similar before you can start the solution. Once you understand this part, the solution is very simple. So let's do it. I need the room, so I'm going to erase everything, okay? That's it, we're done with it. One more time, very quickly, we are told that AB equals BC equals CD, which is this part right here. We also, we also told that the area of the triangle C, CDE, CDE is 42, the question simply is, what's the area of the large triangle? What is the area of the large triangle? ADG. So the solution is that, these three triangles are parallel, these, tri this, this, these, three, uh, these three lines are parallel, and therefore these three angles, angle A, angle B, and angle C, they are equal to each other. Angle G, angle F, and angle E are equal to each other because they are all 90 degrees. And the finally, the last angle in the triangle, in all three triangles, is a shared triangle. Uh, it's a shared angle, which of course is also equal for everybody. And therefore the three triangles are similar. Because the three triangles are similar, Because the three triangles, triangles are similar, their sides are proportional, their sides are proportional. And we are told, we are told, that A to D, A to D is 3 times C to D. A to D is 3 times C to D, which implies if, if this side, if this side of the large triangle ADG, if this side of the large triangle ADG is 3 times this side of this triangle, that means the height of the large triangle D to G, this implies that the height D to G must must also be three times the height of the small triangle which is D to E. Of course in addition to that we also know that the base of the large triangle is three times the base of the small triangle but we don't need that here. Or do we? Oh yes, we do that. And and the base of the large triangle, or I should say, largest triangle, is equal to three times the base of the smallest one. See, if you were to put a dotted line here, this is equal to this, and this is equal to this. They are all proportional. 
So one more time, the height of this large triangle is three times the height of the small triangle, height of the small triangle, D to G is three times D to E, D to G is three times D to E, and A to G, A to G is three times A to G. The base of this base of the large triangle is three times the base of the small triangle, C to E. Okay, now we are ready to solve it. Area of the triangle A A D G A D G equals one half base. Base is three times B. I'm going to call the base of this guy B. If this is B, the base is B, this is three times B. And the height, I'm going to call this height. is h. So the height of the large one is 3 times h. That's it, we're almost there, which is same as 9 times 1 half base times height. 3 times 3 is 9, I combine these two nine, 3 together. 9 times 1 half base times height. 1 half base times height, this is the base, the b, we are calling the base, base of the small angle triangle C, D, E is what we are calling the base B. Base times height, one half base times height is the area of the small triangle, which we know is 42. Or is it? What does it tell you it is? Is it 42? Yes, 42, that's it. That's it, we are done. That's your answer, 9 times 42. There are a couple of ways you can figure out 9 times 42. One is this, one is this. 9 times 2 is 18. 8, carry 1. 9 times 4 is 36. 9 for the 36 plus 1 is 37. There is the answer, 378. Another, we could have figured, another way we could have figured out 9 times 42 is to simply take 10 times 42. 10 times 42, of course, is 420, which is very easy. Just take a 0. But we need 9 times 42, so little, do the adjustment, take away 142. 10 minus 2 is 8, 11 minus 4 is 7, and you get 3. You see, 10 times 42 minus 142, that gives you 942, so that's all. So the answer here is that the area of the large triangle is 9 times the area of the, or rather the area of the largest triangle, the area of the largest triangle, is three times the area of the smallest triangle. That's what it is. Would you be able to tell me very quickly how big is the area of triangle D, B, E compared to the area of the triangle C, D, E? Let's do that, shall we? As far as the problem is concerned, we are done. I'm, I'm giving you a bonus problem. I just, since it comes to me, let's do it. Can you tell me very quickly? If they give you some not sometimes, I was about to say sometimes, but I take it back, not sometimes. They will give you in the exam, in the new GRE, the revised GRE, they do give you a question, what are known as open-ended questions, where there are no answers. They give you the problem, you have to find the answer, and you have to put in the answer in the computer, uh, type it in, literally. So here's the open-ended question. The question simply is, area, area of the triangle, B, D, F, B, D, F is... How many times the area of triangle CDE? C D E. So in this case, um, we are not even being told that the area of the small the smallest triangle is 42. We are not told that part. All we are told is, is this picture, where we are told that this side is equal to that side, which is equal to this side. That's all we are told. So in this case, if that were the case, then we're talking about the medium-sized triangle here. We're dealing with we're dealing with BDF. BDF is the medium-sized triangle right here. In the medium-sized triangle, this side that I just drew is two times C to D. Therefore, the base, as you can clearly see, is two times the base of the small the small one, and the height is twice as much. Height is twice as much. One and two. So here. The area of the BDF, area of BDF 
is going to be one half base times psi, or rather base times psi, and the base of BD, BDF, BDF. The base is two times the base of this guy and two times the height of that guy. So it's going to be four times B times H, which is same as four times one half base times height. In other words, the area of the medium sized triangle is four times the area of the smallest triangle. And the area of the largest triangle we just found out was nine times the area of the smallest triangle. Why is that? For well, a very simple reason. Basically, we're doing, in one case, for the medium size, we're doing two times two because the base is twice as much and the height is twice as much. And in the case of the largest triangle, we're doing three times three. The base was three times as much as you can see. One, one, two, and three, and the height was three times as much. So it's three squared as opposed to two squared. That's all. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.